In this video, I'm going to tell you the effect of arm position when taking blood pressure. There are a ton of techniques that can go wrong when you measure your pressure, and arm position is a crucial one. If you want to see more blood pressure videos like this one, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. For most people, taking your blood pressure at home seems easy. Wrap the cuff around your arm, press the button, and wait for the reading to display. Unfortunately, there's more to it than that, and mistakes can be giving you measurements that are not typical of your daily pressure. And even if you get your arm position perfect, if you don't do one simple thing with your arm, research says it can raise your blood pressure by 10%. Keep watching and I'll tell you about that one one thing also. First, to help with your correct arm position, your body needs to be in the correct position. You should be seated in an upright chair with back support. Your feet should be flat on the floor and your legs uncrossed. Your arms should be positioned outward from the body and supported either by an armrest, table, or similar support. The cuff has to be wrapped around the middle of your upper arm. Depending on your home monitor, the distance from the bottom of the cuff to the bend of your elbow will be about one inch. Whatever surface you are using for arm support, make sure it's the right height to help position your arm and cuff at the correct level and make adjustments if needed. And that level is when the cuff is at the same height as the right atrium of your heart, which is the midpoint of your sternum. The sternum starts where your clavicles meet in the middle and runs down to the bottom where your rib cage turns up and meets. If your arm is positioned so the cuff is above your right atrium, your blood pressure will read lower. For every inch your arm is higher or lower, your measurement will differ by about 2 millimeters of mercury. If your arm is positioned so the cuff is lower than your heart, your blood pressure measurement will be higher. That is a common mistake people make when you using a wrist monitor. They hold their arm in the same position they would with an upper arm monitor. But when they do that, the cuff, which is wrapped around the wrist, is down below the level of the heart. If your arm is hanging straight down, parallel with your body, your blood pressure will measure higher. And that one thing I said earlier, which can raise your blood pressure by 10%, even though the cuff is at the correct level, is having your arm unsupported. When your arm is unsupported, it forces you to use force, an isometric exercise to hold your arm in place. This can raise your heart rate and blood pressure. One study showed, and I've included all the study links down below, that when the arm was unsupported, the systolic pressure was 8 points higher and diastolic was 7 points higher. And the same study found that when the person had high blood pressure, systolic increased 23 points instead of 8 when the arm was unsupported and diastolic increased 10 points instead of 7. Like arm position, how you wrap the cuff around your arm, its tightness and size is extremely important. That's a whole different topic which I wrote a blog post on. You can check it out by typing this into your computer address bar, bloodpressureexplained.com or click the link below. If you found any value in this video, click the thumbs up. Stay healthy and I wish you and your loved ones the very best.